Hey, it is Logan with Piano Gym, and I am here to do our reps. So let's get started. Uh, logging in like usual, and we're gonna see uh, see what we got today. Only nine cards to review today. I'm actually this is this is pretty hype because that means uh, should be a pretty quick day, if you know what I mean. Especially if it's tappy tap tap. I'm gonna just cruise through that one. And there we go. My heart can't handle that that song. Uh, switch engine two just because it's V boring. And then Spring Fever, perfection. So let's see this, reset our tempo, and we will we'll go. Good, I think we're all back in the clear. So, and uh, yes, so this is a higher tempo piece. September morning. All right, cruising, cruising, tiptoe. Uh, I think this is middle C, so. Can see what they're doing it's got a grand staff both c's we're just uh not a big fan oh i forgot to tell you all uh that there's gonna be some good news coming up uh right now we only have the first four levels of the mayron cole piano method but if i'm lucky over the weekend i'll be able to add level five that's uh, that's pretty exciting, and uh, hopefully, hopefully you get hyped about that. Where is my cursor? Uh, just me in the chat. Okay, just making sure. I saw it's like one viewer in the chat, and I'm like, who's that? So I just want to make sure. Not ignoring anybody. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's just me chilling, chilling with myself, doing my reps, hanging out at the gym. <sighs> Kinda, I don't, I don't know. Is that what it looks like at the gym? I work out, but I'm like, that's not a, that's not what I look like when I work out. I look, uh, I look a lot tired when I'm a lot more tired when I work out. I'm just like, <sighs> <sighs> Yellow Daisy is pretty cool too. Fermata. Here we go. Right, 
new flashcards, new flashcards, new flashcards. This is good stuff. Oh, okay. Be kind to your web-footed friends. That's awfully specific. So we're starting with G, and we're going to just play by our right hand. Watch me. My hand tied behind my back. Whoa, I did not expect that. <laughs> Whoa, we have, a, we have a sharp in here. A D sharp? Okay. <laughs> And gravy. That sounds weird. Sounds a little familiar, right? Sounds like the Star Spangled Banner, or uh, what's that? Like really jingoistic. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna mark that as a pass. Good work, everybody. Keep it up. Okay, okay. Wow, man, I'm just getting really played with right now. Let me see. Two, two. Okay, so our yeah, our thumbs are on D. So this is the trick with this one. On the other day, you know, when we were playing, we, we started with the B right here. We're going the other direction with the D right now. You don't need to center your thumbs. That's just something they're trying to get you to start with. They're spreading you out by moving you up and down and eventually going like this. It's really cool. I mean, I enjoy the methods book. I see what they're doing. So we'll just, we're, we're gonna keep going. So yeah. So what is it? That's going to be a restart. So let's uh let's try this one more time. Let's uh let's party on that last that last part right there. Uh because I really am not sure I felt confident about that. So let's do this. Nope. Oh wow. Okay, so that's gonna be like this. Dang, okay. Not a lot of flashcards, but some some tricky stuff today, okay. turn on the looping feature we're gonna we're gonna try this out so let's let's do this one more time nope it's not the right way to do it still not there okay one more time 
more time. Did not get that right. Okay. Uh, let's pull this all together, right? Uh, this one's for the fans, for the culture. And uh, let's see. I don't, I don't know what that means, but we'll, we'll keep going. For the beginning, let's try this one more time. Peanut sat on a railroad track. Who's Peanut? What is Peanut? Why did Peanut sit on the railroad track? And if you're interested, how? Here we go, okay. No, arg, okay. So let's turn off the auto, or the auto looping. And we're gonna, we're gonna go back at this. stuff today man I'm really uh, not sure where this is coming from I apologize everybody get it peanut Pump. Yeah, that's a big deal. Like if you if you're just a random person and you're watching Piano Gym, you just got to see me take a step back and be like, well, this song is hard, and then focus on specific measures and and bring it all together by working on it in separate sections. That's cool. I, I think that's personally, I'm like, that's pretty darn cool, but you know, we all have different standards. And uh, but I think you should tell your friends, tell your family. Let him know uh, we're, we're really doing some cool stuff here. A dark night. Ooh. So we're doing, if you're not paying attention, what we're working on is the uh, the bass clef. So just keep an eye on that. You see that little bass clef on the left. So let's do this. Uh, oh, wow. Cowboy song. You 
can tell I don't have the tempo right. You can feel it when you listen. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. You know what would really help? Probably a metronome. Just saying, stay tuned. It's, it's coming. Them having me play different offsets is just absolutely destroying my ability to succeed. Dang, you know what? Normally I would be really all about moving on, but I just don't feel like especially for my left hand, right? Get, get it going, come on. Let's do this, okay. Take a breath. Just make sure to check your posture. Let's try our best. Yeah. Okay, so A is my index finger, index finger, okay. B is my thumb. Okay, I'm gonna say we pass that and keep going. But once you know, we're, we're gonna see that again. I'm gonna try, try super hard to make that go uh, much smoother. So we'll see, it. we'll see it again. Here we go. Why does this one feel easier? Okay, let me double check something for uh Okay, cool. Just looking at pictures of uh of dogs people send. So let's see. My buddies. I wonder if I can log in and practice a couple of other things. So I have a course over here and I can go to that sheet music right here and I want to practice some chemical plant zone today. I really want to just chill, have a good time, relax, because uh, it's Friday, you know? I'm ready to chill, just party, have some fun. 
and uh, that's what a chemical plant zone is going to help me do right now. <sighs> it's a little bit of a bigger piece, so that's why it kind of takes a bit to load. Um, I wonder... There we go. We're just going to reset the width of this. That was not a wise decision. It just took forever to load, and then I just reset it. We'll uh, we'll get that going. Uh, okay, so you can see that this piece has like a, a it's a multiple instrument arrangement. So you can actually upload any instruments you really want for. Uh, for Piagem, and it, it technically just works so long as you can generate the correct pitch, which is why we're, we're a really cool instrument because a long enough timeline, we're gonna actually support some other people, but that's neither here nor there. We'll, we'll kind of go from there. sec to reset this and we're going to do this for measure four disable this piano we're just going to chill like i said just have a good time hang out here for a short time not a long time am i right up top <laughs> so here we go it doesn't feel right uh, so first, let me turn on the looping mechanism, let me restart, and then uh, let's try this one more time. Okay, that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay, here we go. And then that switch is over. Okay, so here we go. We got this. We got this. And then it goes. You're feeling it, right? All right, all right, I'm picking, I'm picking up it, I'm picking it up. One day, one day. So what's cool about Pianjim, and this is really important to call out because I don't think a lot of people understand it, and I'm, I'm probably not communicating this well as I could be, but you don't have to publish a school to, to make content. You can actually have a school for just practicing music. You can upload sheet music in your school and just study it like I'm doing right now. And so this is one of the cool features about Piano Gems. In your school, you kind of have your own playground to work in, to practice in. And so this is cool to, to do that kind of context of where you're just having fun and chilling rather than learning, you know? It's, it's, it's a big deal for that, that kind of process. So just know this is, this is possible. So that's actually real tricky for me to hit because I'm just like flinging my hand over to the, the lower register, but try one more time. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. Let's go to uh, measure eight and measure four and reset this piece. Now I think this will be good because then we can practice from where I'm leaving off 
and it will then let me practice up to the next measure, I think. So it's like... Okay, so this is in, uh, what is this, sharped, so it's what, C, G, D, A, A sharp, A, A major, so this is A major, and then it goes like this, so, oh man. So I think we pop that up to uh, measure five. We can actually start practicing that in the correct context. So let's see. Uh, let's see how that shakes out. All right. All right. So this one, this one starts to pick up the beat, right? It's like dun 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 dun. Like so. Let's just do left hand, right? We'll just do. That's too much for today. And and to highlight this, this is probably something that if I made this a flashcard deck, I would do each measure separately. Then I would do every two measures and every three measures and build it up to every four measures. And then I'd have an exam. And so it would be uh, a bunch of flashcards of the same sheet music, but you would be practicing it in separate pieces, building up that cognizance of how it works. I'd probably stop at three because once you once you have three measure splits, you've got the first and the the, the former and the following, so it's pretty cool. Uh, but that's me rambling. Uh, it's time for us to end. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you don't know what you're watching, my name is Logan. I am the creator and founder of Piano Gym. Piano Gym is a learning website where you can log in and use flashcards to play sheet music and learn music theory in the context of the actual uh, performance part of uh, piano and, and music theory. So it's really exciting. There's a lot of cool features and you can create your own content if you want. If not, you can come in and enroll in content we've already got, which is uh, basically some free methods books that are available, like the Mayron Cole Piano Method. We've turned that into digital sheet music and uploaded it so that we can, we can actually use that sheet music for you to practice. And it's super cool. So if you're interested and you, and you like what you see or you just want to learn piano, come to Piano Gym. Uh, we are, we're meant to be a place for fun and excitement, and uh, we would love to have you at the gym. So, so come, to, come to gym. Come to Piano Gym and do your reps with us. We'll be spotting you. Have a good weekend.